Ciao! My name is Francesca, I am a UX UI designer and I'm here to share my knowledge of Figma and FigJam with you because I truly believe that as Leonardo da Vinci says then practice without knowledge is like a captain who pretends to guide a boat without compass. Let me know what you think about this video and let me know what you would like me to talk about. Ciao a tutti! Today we are going to see how to place a grid and columns. Let's say I am making a work and I have to choose the device. Let's go for something big, like iPhone 14. So this is my iPhone and I'm going to work. If I'm clicking here, layout grid, you can see automatic I can have 10 pixel grid, which is really, really good. So let's say, yes, I want the grid because it's something that we use really often when we are working on mobile device, but I need the columns and also I need something that help me to the border, to maintain the border through all the work that I'm doing. For example, if I have to do a scrolling down, I need something that helps me to maintain the direction when I place icons, when I place cards. So, how I can do this? The answer is, once then you have placed the grid, you have to click this button, which is mean adding. So you are going to add and you have now to grid. Now, click here, grid setting. Under grid here, you can choose columns or rows. We want to columns because on mobile devices, we use both. Uh, the most common number of columns used is four or six. It depends how big is your device. It depends how many things you have to place. And if you are thinking about to develop even a desktop or MacBook version. So let's keep it simple and choose four. Everything is fine. Leave it as it is. So at this point, I have to place the roots. For place the roots, I'm going here on the top bar and under view, you can see roots. It's already click because I use really always the roots. But if you zoom click, that says now you zoom click, go and click so they are visible. From here, as you can see, there is the double arrow, click here and you see magically the rule appear and the rule have to be placed after two square to maintain the distance from the border to give, let's say, a good space to breathe for your composition. Let's say I need an order, you have to choice, come here on your left side you see, it appears the double arrow. Click and drag to have another rules. Or another simple way is take your old rule, click and option and drag. Let's say again, click and option and drag. So you can make, you can duplicate everything you want. Now, now that I have placed everything, let's say if I want to do a scrolling down, how this is going to be maintained, you see? Because the rulers, they are visible just on my iPhone. Well, in this case, you have to take an order, place it exactly above, and that's it. So, now you are ready to start your work. Being sure then when you are making your scrolling down, everything will be in the right place. Let's say again, go on your left side, you see it appears the double little arrow, click 
and drag. The same can happen from the top. You see, you have the little two arrow click and drag. And that's it. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know if it had been helpful. And thank you. See you next time. Cheers.